can we destroy Greasy Grove in one video? Well, about eight. Sit back and enjoy this one. Ah, uh, what a lovely day in Greasy Grove. How shall we destroy thee? <laughs> Greasy Grove's probably one of my favorite drop spots, or at least it has been over the years. But now that we have it as an island, I can easily just reset it, but I've done some bad things to it. There are so many options on how I can destroy this place. Let's start with the fastest way I can think of. The prop manipulator. I need to mark the center of Greasy here. Uh, it's probably like right there. That's pretty close. We're gonna place our prop manipulator right there. Make affect all objects in the zone to yes. And we're gonna make this as big as it can go. Oh man, that's almost the whole city. Okay, so we don't need to do this right in the center. We could probably do this with four prop manipulators. Well, I decided to use a few more than four prop manipulators. I may as well get rid of everything on the island. But let's change into our destroying skin. Good old Thanos. I am inevitable. Aha! There you go! Wait, what is this? This thing's indestructible! And our vending machine's indestructible too? I didn't know that. Thanos work here is done. And now instead of going and deleting all of these prop manipulators, I can just go into island tools and reset my island. Woo. And now we can torture Greasy Grove anew. Greasy's looking a little dry to me. But maybe we should call in a storm. So I'm just gonna set up a water device. Make sure I uh, get the right size. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Let's also do a VFX spawner. This is the old school one, not the custom one. We'll bring in some rain. Maybe I should uh, make a couple of these just to make it like a heavy rain. Oh my gosh, that is a ton of rain. I'm also gonna put in a sky Dome to make it look a little bit more stormy. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, here we go. It's a cloudy day. Oh, hopefully it doesn't rain. Oh, no, the rain's coming down. The rain's picking up. It's too much. Oh, it's the greasy grove is flooding. Ah! My house. Oh, no, my Xbox is down there. One of the most obvious ways to destroy greasy is with the tank. Let's just drive through it. Oh, wait, no. What the heck? I'm getting stopped already. The gas pumps, man. They stopped me dead in my tracks. Oh, uh, I might need a little help with this then. There's too many indestructible things here. I know something, though, that could really help speed this up. Pinball bumpers! Let's see if I can pinball my way through a bunch of these houses. All right, the pinball's right there. Let's back up into it and see what happens. Boom! Oh, <laughs> oh I went backwards! All right, let's try again, but we're not gonna hit the gas pump. Boom! Oh! Holy cow, we lost straight through it! That was awesome! I don't know if this is speeding things up, though. What's gonna happen, though, if I launch a tank into the town? Here we go. It's gonna go right into the house, but... Oh, wait! It doesn't do any damage! <laughs> okay, well, that's not gonna work. Well, we'll just drive through it. We'll just have to do this in uh, replay mode. You know, there's something oddly therapeutic about all this. Just destroying things for the sake of destroying things. I don't know. There's something fun about it. All right, this is the last standing staircase in all of Greasy. Goodbye! <laughs> And so Greasy is destroyed again. Okay, the next obvious one is to just blow it up. I'm gonna make sure all the settings are right on this one. Definitely structure damage is gonna be super high. We're gonna increase the blast radius. All right. Okay, I've set it up to explode on this remote. Well, let's test it out. Boom! Okay, wow, it's a huge explosion. I can also reset it by right-clicking. Okay, perfect. And I can explode it as many times as I want. Okay, well, now I just need to place a bunch of these around. I think I can place up to 100. Not exactly sure. I just gotta make sure each house gets enough of these to, like, like, take out the structure. All right, you guys ready for this? Three, two, one. Goodbye, Greasy! <laughs> that was awesome! Wait, wait, wait. Let's make sure we get all of the buildings. They have to all crumble. They're still crumbling. I mean, it's just slowly. Oh, wow, we still got explosions going. Yes! It totally worked! Wait, wait, let's reset everything. Let's just, uh, I want to see it all explode again. Even though there's no houses. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, that was awesome. Okay, since we've got all of these explosives set up, let's get a little bit more interesting here with the prop mover. I think the best course of action here is a meteor. I'm gonna delete all these little pieces here and simply just attach a prop mover to it. I'm gonna make it 24 meters a second dropping and then I don't know how far to make this. I might have to test this a little bit. And then I'm gonna turn on when prop hits the signal channel one and that's gonna signal my explosions to, well, explode. So it should hit down here and go and then I'm gonna have it sit here on the ground Round, smoldering, but it's gonna appear after it blows up. Oh man, the prop mover and the prop manipulator together just makes so many cool scenes. All right, let's try this out, see if this works. Here we go! Why won't you move? It's not moving! Oh man, I mean, it goes green when you put it over it, but uh, maybe it can't move because of the tail. Let's just delete that. And then I'm going to try just like a normal meteor here. All right, I've got that all set up. Let's give this a go. Oh, I just love the sunny day. Hey, what's that big shadow? Ah! Oh, here it comes! Oh, yeah! oh that was awesome! And it's 
destroying the rest of the town. Thanks to all the explosives, that is. Oh, these explosives are just going off. A little aftershock from the meteor, I guess. Well, fortunately, Bruce Willis couldn't blow up this one and save the world. Okay, what else? Oh, oh hey, Will Smith, is that you? Oh, Will, what the heck, dude? Will Smith just slapped Greasy Grove out of existence. All right, guys, I'm sorry. I had to do it. All right, guys, I gotta do one more with these explosives. I'm gonna place down the giant robot here. I'm gonna reposition him just a little bit. And we're gonna do a bit of sculpting here. We're gonna sculpt his arm. It'll be just the position I want. <laughs> there he is. I'm gonna have him do a wrestling move on Greasy Grove and blow it up. Problem with this, though, is I'm gonna have to place a whole bunch of these things to make sure I get every part on this robot. Okay, I've made one prop mover. Let's just test it real quick to make sure it's the right distance. Okay, there goes the elbow. Whoa, oh, yeah! <laughs> Okay, that was the perfect distance for the elbow to drop in. Now I just gotta make sure every single piece has a prop mover on it. Oh my gosh. I'm sure I'm gonna miss some. All right, I think I got everything. Let's try this. All right, cueing the giant robot elbow right now. Oh no, I missed some pieces. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I swear I had gotten the torso. I don't know why that didn't work. All right, here we go. Attempt number two. The giant robot from the top rope. Here we go. Boom. Oh, there it goes. Ah! <laughs> the most powerful elbow ever. Uh, Poor Greasy Grove, once again destroyed by a robot. Okay, let's finally reset this one, and let's do something else. Oh, guys, I've got an idea. We're gonna destroy Greasy Grove with the Battle Bus. But not just one Battle Bus. We're gonna line up a whole bunch of these right next to each other, and they're gonna all run over Greasy Grove. Of course, we're gonna use the Prop Mover for this. So we gotta be careful, because we can only use a 100 of them, I think. Pretty sure that's the max, at least. But it should be all right. These are pretty wide uh, buses. Oh, man, over here, the buses start underground, so that should be it. Interesting. <laughs> it's okay though. I don't think it should stop it. All right. I think that's enough buses to destroy the whole island. I don't really know how many are here. Let's just uh, do a quick count. It's 41 buses, guys. So, in case you're wondering, Greasy Grove is 41 buses wide. All right. Let's get some prop movers on this. We definitely got to make sure we get the right distance. We'll do a fast speed. And on prop collision, it needs to continue and do a lot of damage. All right. We're just going to test one of these to make sure the distance is right. Okay. There he goes. He's busted. Oh my gosh. It does so much damage. It's just cruising. Oh, uh, you know what? I think the distance is fine. One problem is, though, that it destroyed the other buses. So we're going to also need to place on prop manipulators and make them invulnerable. That way it won't get destroyed by the other buses. All right, now we just got to place these on all of the buses. We should be good to go. At least I hope this works. This was a stink to have to do over again. Also not sure how it's going to work with these ones that are, like, underground. Well, we're about to find out. All right, here we go. I can't wait to see what happens. Oh, look at them go. Oh my gosh, they are just plowing through the town. <laughs> that is amazing. It took out all the trees too. Whoa, guys, they took out everything, even the like floors and the ground. That was probably more effective than even than the explosives. Well done, battle buses. Holy moly. Wait a second, I want to see that from down here. Ah! Oh my gosh, that is awesome. Oh. Oh, man, they're so effective. Well, I apologize, Greasy, for all the destruction, but that was really fun.